Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to be doing a product review on this fuel exhaust and emission system cleaner by Rislone. It's cat complete is what it says on it too. Let's go ahead and get started. This is what the box looks like. So you can see here it says restores power and performance, pass emission smog test, deodorizes smelly exhaust, check engine light medic, pass emission smog test guaranteed. We'll look at that guarantee in a second. And then it says here, turn off check engine light, clear P0420 and other OBD codes, cleans and restores catalytic converter, reduces emissions, and saves gas. And it says here, only need to use it four times per year. A lot of these products, they recommend using it on a regular basis in order to maintain um, things being clean and keeping things under control. So if we come over here, it goes right here. So it says product use. Before changing catalytic converter, when warning light is on to lower tailpipe emissions, pre-treat before emissions test, after failed smog test, restores lost performance, reduces HCCO and NOx emissions, and then here cleans catalytic converters, oxygen sensors, exhaust systems, spark plugs, fuel injectors, intake valves, and combustion chambers. Use as a pre-treatment before emission tests. And then let's see. Here's their money back guarantee. Let me get a close up of this. So this is what they claim. Risk loan guarantees with the proper use of this product that your vehicle, your vehicle's check engine light will turn off if the vehicle has a code listed above and or it will pass the state emission test. And then they have details there, I guess, where you can reach out. Works on all fuel injected, direct injected, carbureted, turbo, G GTDI, Aerotech, EcoBoost, and gasoline engines. Safe to use on domestic, import cars, SUVs, trucks, hybrid, um, PH, EV, and E10, E85 ethanol. Use before replacing your catalytic converter. And then here's some of the codes right here. P0420, P0430, P0421, P0431, and then they mention other codes that it'll work on. You can check out their website for that for that list as well. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put it in and we're going to follow the directions. It has the breakdown here that we're going to look at in a second. Now, I decided to try this right here. <clears throat> I have a vehicle. and We're going to take a look at it in a minute. Took it to have the emissions test here in the state that, that I that I live in. It failed because of the P04. 20 code and we're going to take a look at that in a second but basically that code can pertain to a few things it can mean that your catalytic converter needs to be replaced it could mean that your catalytic converter is dirty it could also mean that your your o2 sensors are giving a bad reading off the catalytic converter because that actually pertains to the efficiency of the catalytic converter that code but it could also be some other things as well that i'll list here on the screen that it can also pertain to so Sometimes you do need to replace the parts if they're completely gone, or you can try a product like this if it just needs to be cleaned, and this could do the job. Now, this one here guarantees it to work, so we'll see how that goes. I've done other product reviews for CRC's product, Duralube, Cataclean. Also did the um, lacquer thinner, putting that through, different things. If you want to check out those videos, I'll have them down in the description. You can see the product reviews, the test that we did, and see how those worked out as well. But with this one here, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go through the steps here. We're going to follow it and see what it does. So this is the vehicle that failed. And what I have here is the State of Delaware Vehicle Inspection Report. Here, every two years, you have to get your inspection where they check the safety equipment on the vehicle, wipers, lights, brakes, all that. But they also do the emissions test as well. Some states only do the emissions test. But here's a close-up, and you can see where it failed and the P0420 code. So hopefully this product will do the trick. If not, then we're going to have to do some mechanical work to it and replace whatever needs to be replaced, but we'll see if it does the job. All right, so here's the instructions, deep cleaning. We're going to add the entire bottle of this fuel exhaust and emission system cleaner into approximately a half full tank of gas for a car or small midsize SUV. For larger SUVs or trucks, you want to do a quarter tank of gasoline. Next, we're going to drive the vehicle 20 to 30 miles, ideally half at highway speeds. Next, we're going to fill the tank up. 
With the tank completely full now, we're going to continue to drive the vehicle normally until it's below a quarter of a tank before refueling. At that point, then we can take it for the emissions test at that time, and the check engine light should be off. Depending on the severity and the length of time that the light has been on, it may take an extra 250 miles with multiple drive cycles of the vehicle being started and turned off before the light resets. If the light is still on, then mechanical attention may be needed, as we just talked about. Sometimes if the parts are completely gone, they just need to be replaced. And then it just says here, for a, pre for a preventative maintenance, add one bottle to nearly full tank, or add to tank and then fill up with 22 gallons of gasoline every three months for best performance and cleaning and protection. And then it just has a note right here. This bottle is designed to work on all gas tanks, including standard, obstructed and capless no fuel cap systems if the vehicle has a fuel cap make sure it is reinstalled tightly as this can cause the light to be on so let me show you here you can see the check engine light right there is on because of the code that we're getting we'll put our diagnostic reader and you can see the p0420 that's the code we're dealing with so we'll start off by filling it up half a tank, as the instructions say. And you can see there it's half. And next we'll go ahead and pour the entire contents of this CAT Complete into the system. And you can see our miles, 314.8. Let's start. So you can see we drove a total of 24.3 miles. They said between 20 to 30. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill it all the way up to a full tank. And let's take a look here. Completely filled, so now we can start the entire process as per the directions. All right, so just to recap of what we've done so far, we followed the directions exactly as they say, which you always want to do with these type of products. We filled the tank halfway with gasoline, then we went ahead and added this additive to that. We drove it for over 20 miles, then we came back, we filled it up to the max, complete full tank of gas. And then as noted here, what we did then is uh, we then drove it completely until it went below a quarter of a tank as we saw. Now what they're claiming on here is at that point, you can take it for the emission test because the check engine light should be off. As we saw in the video, it was not off at that point. So the next thing they say here is if it doesn't go off, then what you should do is drive an additional 250 miles, which is what we're about to do now. So let's head back to the vehicle. We're going to drive it for the next 250 miles, let it have multiple drive cycles, and they're claiming at that point the light should go out. So let's see if it works at that point. But so far, it's not doing as they say. Let, uh, let's head out to the vehicle and continue on with this product review. As you can see, I've already started the process here. We've already driven 150.8 miles, check engine light still on. Let me get my diagnostic reader and let's see what the code is saying. All right, so it is one code. Let's check here. All right, it is a not a pending, it is a confirmed, and it's an NA, so it's not the P0420. As you can see, the check engine light is still on. I'm gonna go ahead and clear it. Let's take our diagnostic reader here and we're just gonna erase everything, get a clean slate just in case it's a glitch.
Let's go ahead and check it. You can see we drove another 85.5, so we're a little over the 250. Check engine light is still on. So let's see here. Get our diagnostic reader. See what it's saying. All right, so now we have two codes. Let's see here. One pending and one confirmed, an NA. And the P0420 now is pending. That doesn't look good. So I just returned after driving back. Um, when we just last saw the last scene, I had finished doing the 250. So we were a little over 80 miles, and that took us up to the final 250. So I've driven, as you can see here, I'm up to 155 because I had to come back home. So we're going to connect to the diagnostic and see what the code is now. Okay, we're seeing two again. One pending and one confirmed. Confirmed is an NA, which means it couldn't get an accurate reading on something. And actually, the pending is also an NA. Interesting. All right, so just wrapped up as we saw. We've finished the full application on this product, followed the directions exactly as they said. It is looking hopeful. We're not seeing the P0420 anymore. As we saw throughout the testing there, we did see it went to the NA status, which a lot of times what that means is it can't get an accurate reading from the codes. It can kind of detect something there, but it can't define it. Last time that we scanned into it, when we hit our, our full 250 to wrap this up, we saw the P0420 was back as a pending code. But now as we just drove the last 70 some miles back, now that's completely gone. So that's looking good. Next thing we're going to do, first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to take it to the emission center to be tested, see how it does, hopefully it passes, and we'll wrap up this video with a, a positive overview of this product. If it fails, then obviously it's going to be a negative overview, but we'll see you in the morning and we'll see how this wraps up. All right, so we're returning from the emissions test, and I'll get a close-up, but unfortunately failed again because the P0420, here's a close-up. All right, let's head inside the garage and we'll wrap up this product review. All right, so that is a disappointment. Um, <clears throat> we followed the directions exactly as it said. We even did the additional 250 if it didn't work the first time, even went extra because I, as we saw, I had to come back. So we definitely put it to the max. Uh, they do mention here on the back, um, and actually, where is it in here? Um, if light still uh, is on, mechanical tensions needed, they put that disclaimer in there. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case with this vehicle because I did a lot of work on it prior to this, including a new catalytic converter, some other things. So I felt this was the perfect vehicle to test it on because there was no mechanical issues. They had all been addressed. So this was probably just some cleaning is what I had diagnosed. Didn't even work for that. Now, they do mention this uh, money back guarantee. We're going to take a look at that and see how that goes, but I can already kind of predict how that's going to go. There's going to be some kind of a loophole why they're going to say that they don't have to give me the money back, but that'll be for a follow-up video. We'll see, you know, how that went, and I'll follow up with all of you how that goes. But overall, for this product right here, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 2. Uh, the only reason I don't give it a 0 is because, as we saw, we were seeing a little bit of progress. The P0420 went away, came back as pending, then went away. But long story short, we did fail because their, their diagnostic reader <clears throat> at the emissions place picked it up and that was the end of it. So maybe if you have some very minor cleaning that needs to be done, you might have luck with it. If not, don't waste your time with this stuff here. We're done with that crap. But anyway, so that wraps up this product review. As we just said, scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 2. I hope that this review was informative for you, showed you this product and what it can and can't do. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please send them in. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel. I have other product reviews I've done pertaining to catalytic converter cleaners and different things like that. And I'll see you next time.